There are 65 lighthouses along the coast of Maine. The Nubble Lighthouse is the third lighthouse Amy and I have visited in Maine so far. The plan was to pick up Amy right after work and take her to the Nubble Lighthouse. It's a secret. For a beautiful sunset and treat her to a romantic seafood dinner. I dropped Amy off at work and came back to the hotel. I wouldn't pick her up again until 5 p.m. That meant I had the whole day to myself. So I headed out into the brisk cold air on foot. I was determined to find something something cool. So less than a mile away from our hotel is a submarine. So, my army's at work. Oh, by the way, I'm taking a shortcut down a train, train track. Uh, hopefully it's safe. Not very far to go. But yeah. So we're heading to see the submarine. Had to stop and see the harbor. It's weird with the tides. There's like only half the water's in there now and tonight it'll, it'll be full, full of boats and people fishing. All this Pretty tight space. This is the second time I was in a submarine. The first time was at Pearl Harbor Memorial in uh, Hawaii. That was really cool. It's funny though, as a kid I used to check out every book I could find on subs and and just stare at the pictures and dream I was a crewman on board. I watched the uh, Hunt for Red October like a hundred times. I still watch it today. But six months out of sea in a boat underwater, well I'm a little bit claustrophobic and Needless to say, I changed my mind uh, after high school and joined the Army instead. <laughs> this memorial is really nice, though. Uh, a very nice tribute. A very informative museum inside with a vast collection of artwork and artifacts. It's a walk-at-your-own-pace, self-guided tour with audible narratives along the way. Uh, made, it, made it all the better. I never would have guessed this uh, submarine uh, being only a few blocks from my hotel. <laughs> it was very cool, and I was very lucky to... Uh, 
Google board and check it out. I've been taking the stairs a lot. Get some exercise. And I don't like elevators. Ooh, the sun has gone down and it's, it's getting quite chilly. Okay, Amy's really only a mile down the street. I don't know why I'm rushing. But I have to use this key card every time to lift this. Lift the, I don't know if you can see it. I have to lift up the, whatever you call that thing, uh, to get out of the parking lot. And I have to get out of the van real quick and do it. And then get back here. It's pain in the butt. Ooh, I'm turn this baby around. There we go. And then you got like, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds to haul up and get out of here before the freaking thing comes down on top of the van. Okay, made it out of the hotel and we are cruising down here. Woo! There's the bridges, one bridge, three bridges connect all these rivers to the state of Maine. Alicorp Park where I saw the submarine right over there there she is all right I'm going to pick up Amy so the goal tonight when I pick up Amy from work is we're gonna to go to a store either Burlington Coat Factory or somewhere and get us some hoodies because when we leave Portsmouth we're going to Kentucky and it's supposed to be in the 40s and 50s and, uh, for somebody from Florida that uh, that's cold I did a smart thing put my glasses on so I could actually see where I'm going <laughs> but uh, just up here I take a right and go into this little uh, business park and uh, yeah Amy will uh, jump out of the, the building and uh, run up to the van so nobody sees her getting inside the van uh, even though it's a cool van just check out this road leading to it all the all the autumn colors in the trees it's one thing to hop in your car or you know hop in your truck or whatever but when you're in a town you're not very familiar with. I'm getting to get familiar with this place by driving it a lot, but uh, new town and I'm hopping in a van every time and then having to exit the parking lot and then maneuver my way through traffic and uh, people up here aren't used to seeing camper vans apparently. Gosh, Hello. So nice out. Hello. It's kind of chilly. No, it feels great. Of course, I had a jacket on too, so, you know. How was your day? That was good. So I couldn't wait to tell Amy about the surprise I had planned for her, taking her to the Neville Lighthouse. She seemed very excited. The ride was only like 20 minutes away. York is a town in York County, Maine. It's near the southern tip of the state. 
It's situated beside the Atlantic Ocean and on the Gulf of Maine. From south to north, it's divided into the villages of Baldhead, York Village, York Harbor, York Beach, and Cape Nettick. We're headed to Cape Nettick. That's where the Neville Lighthouse is located. The town appeared to be pretty cool, but by the time we get there, as most things in New Hampshire and Maine, they, they close early. But the appearance is well kept, and it looks like it would be a pretty fun town to explore someday. We drove through some of the most gorgeous houses we'd ever seen to the lighthouse. While we were there, Amy noticed the beautiful colors reflecting from the Aloha in her van. She got out and started taking pictures. I was wondering what she was doing, so curious I got out and, and of course I had to take some myself. Pretty cool. Lighthouses, they serve as a navigational aid and they warn boats of dangerous areas. It's like a traffic sign on the sea. The town of York is responsible for the upkeep and safety of the lighthouse. Sunrise or sunset or during the middle of the afternoon, the Neville Lighthouse is a sight to see, for sure. The parking lot's huge and there's a pretty cool gift shop on the property as well. From all sides you get this magnificent view of the lighthouse and the rocky shore surrounding it. The Neville Lighthouse. The sun sets at 622. 622. We are in. We are in York, Maine. York, Maine at the yep. Neville Lighthouse. The Neville Lighthouse. Can't get to it. You could swim across to it. It's a little chilly, but it's a little cold out. So we're just gonna sit here and watch the sun. Overall, she liked my surprise visit to this wonderful place, the Neville Lighthouse. Afterwards, as the sun disappeared and I started driving us back to New Hampshire, Amy made us some reservations nearby in the town of Kittery, Maine, at an awesome restaurant called Roberts in Maine. She enjoyed lobster and risotto rice, while I had some of the best crab cakes I had ever tasted. So take it from us, if you're ever in the area of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, or Maine, make sure you visit the Neville Lighthouse because it's, it's just a fantastic place to visit. Another rainy afternoon, I don't know what I'm to do, I just miss you more than anything. It's way too quiet in the house, I'm just wasted on the couch, cause I don't Side me, this isn't how it's supposed to 